and the thing that really struck me with the Deluge when it came out was just, yeah, the, I guess all of the different features, not just the sequencer, but the built-in sounds, the, the capability of, of sample playback, which to me is, is quite huge. I've used samplers a lot back in the 90s and got a bit of a sample library built up and I just haven't been able to really access those sounds. So now I've been able to stick them on the SD card. I've got 18,000 samples on the card there at the moment and it's just got plenty to um, really experiment with. But one of the things I really enjoy with the Deluge is the every single track part that you, you write in there you can assign a different length of, of the pattern. So you know you might have a sound that's only it's quite repetitive and looping so you might only want it to to go for sort of one one bar so you know what kind of eight beats of the screen whereas the next one you might want it twice that whereas a long sample you might have a uh, yeah sample that ends up being four times that or you might have a, a kind of a big chord string pad sort of sound that you actually want to progress through half a dozen notes but rather than have to manually you know put it in five six times and manually go through the notes you might just want to re you know, record it all in one so you could end up with this you know thing 16 times longer than the first one and I love that way that that can play you know seamlessly like that so Really enjoying uh, the deluge at the moment. Uh, I get to hook up the, the CV side of things, which I'm wanting to do is hook up, say, to the MS20 Mini there. So that'll be another whole dimension for yeah, triggering, triggering some cool old analog sort of sounds. For me, that the probably the best thing for live is the being able to colour code the keys, the buttons. Um, because sometimes in an environment, I used to go with one of my old cool drum machines, and all the lights on it are red. Quite often, they would flood the stage with red, and you just couldn't see a thing. Everything is just like you couldn't tell what was on, what was off. Um, the thing I like with this is I'm pretty structured and ordered with my when I write tracks so I've kind of been colour coding the sounds the same in each song so like all my basses are blue all my kicks are red that sort of thing so on a live situation I know exactly what's what you know I can go straight to it I know a green is a pad um, so I don't have to even think too much about it I can rely on just where the colours are and I tend to lay things out roughly similar so I'm not sort of completely thrown by where's, where one of the sounds is and it makes that kind of live um, playing a lot more seamless. I've written a few tracks here more for kind of studio recordings and it's been quite a different sort of process whereas I have actually written Oh, probably a good 20 tracks so far just for live kind of technoacity sort of stuff so um, and yeah and I've definitely found different ways of working with it so far. Yeah.